we've had generations coming through. So, you know, you've got kids that have grown up here, have left town, they come back either to live with their families or they come back on holidays. And it's it's so good when they, you know, people come in, guys will come in pushing a pram and they'll go, oh, I had to bring the kids here because I used to come here as a little kid or we've been holidaying here forever. So now we bring the kids back on holidays. So it's a real icon for the area that people come back to Yamba and they know the cinema's here for them because it's, it's been here for so long. We, we used to come up when our children were young and um, on the holidays when it was um, raining, we would always take them to the picture theatres and the picture theatre seats then, some of them were like separate chairs and there wasn't that many kids at that time so the kids would move the seats around to see it get the best position. But that's what we did on holidays and when even we've come up here ourselves and it's rained, we've always come to the movies because it was such an easy place to get into and it was a reasonably priced for a family. It was a great atmosphere here. And the kids get as much ice cream or popcorn they could eat. Mum and Dad have been showing movies around the whole Highlands Valley ever since Dad was actually nine years old. When Merv and I were first married, we showed movies every night except Sunday night. We were a touring show. And uh, it's um, just, it was his life. But in those days, he was the projectionist and I sold the tickets. <laughs> It's just a, an amazing life. I feel I've been blessed. I have been blessed. Uh. Best known probably locally as besides an entertainment venue for them. Uh, we also do a lot of fundraisers and we help with all the local charities. So, you know, if there's a charity in the area, you, you've probably had a fundraiser here over the years. <laughs> we raise money for the local charities. So I didn't really have much choice of where it was because I was born here, but I'm so glad it was here because <laughs> it's a beautiful area. To, uh, you know, we always say we, we get paid to work in a, a beautiful location. Since COVID, we've had to sort of rethink our business, had to basically reimagine ourselves again. And I myself am just basically going back to basics, doing those basic things I used to do with um, more community oriented things with sponsor, um, fishing club, there's a fishing club sponsor, there's a golf group we sponsor schools, we give out vouchers to the schools, uh, fundraisers for the Cancer Council and quite regularly, probably every month or two, we do fundraisers for the Westpac Helicopter Service. So that's a service that affects everybody in, in the valley, all in the whole ridge and whole northern rivers. Just basically reinventing ourselves and reconnecting with the community again like we did back in Back in there, I think it was very easy to sort of forget that, but now we've got to make that extra effort and that's, that's what we're doing. And as I said before, the movies are now, the, our future for the movies is looking great. I was at a movie convention a couple of weeks ago and what's coming up in the next 18 months is, is fabulous. We're getting back to the number of movies being released and, and the quality of movies um, from years ago, which is great. I think if you just find something you really enjoy and you can turn that into your job, then you'll enjoy your life. You won't, um, you'll enjoy what you're doing all the time. So probably that's an advice I give my 16 year old self. And I obviously listen to myself because I do love my job. <laughs>